Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday's English session. So today we are going to be starting an independent leaflet. So, so far this week we've looked at different types of leaflets. We have created a leaflet, a persuasive leaflet on uh, Tesco in Bradley Stoke to have a little bit of a practice on what a leaflet needs to have in it, how we can persuade. And so today and on Monday, you are going to be writing your own independent piece. So there's going to be less um, support, less structure from me. But I'm still going to give you some questions and some pointers to make you think about what you're going to write. But structure wise and sentence wise, um, you should be happy and confident from um, the practice one that we did about Tesco. So you've all done one ready. Uh, for the independent one, you can follow that exact same structure if you're struggling and need a bit more support. OK, so you can just model it exactly the same as we did our Tesco leaflet. Now. Your independent um, leaflet is going to be based on this part of the text we looked at on Monday, where it says that the letter, um, your letter made me feel like one of the other mums who can afford to send their kids to summer camp. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create or recreate Camp Green Lake in a summer camp way, as if it is an actual summer camp and not somewhere that where people go to dig holes. But we cannot be um, too untruthful um, about what happens there, because otherwise when people get there, they're not they're going to know that they've been lied to. So we need to think about a way that we can um, use vocabulary choices and we can think about um, the words and the ways that we're using to describe things to make them seem better than they are. And we practice that with um, our Tesco leaflets. We didn't make anything up. Tesco does sell food and drinks and books and magazines, but we just made it seem more exciting than it was, which is what we're going to do at um, in our Camp Green Lake um, leaflet. So um, when you are thinking about your structure, you can use our finished Tesco leaflet to help you. So um, you can lay it out in exactly the same way if you like, if it helps support you or Equally, you've looked at different um, examples of leaflets. We've written one already. So you can go um, completely independent how you wish to lay it out, what you want to include. The only thing I will say is you definitely need to include the um, mini paragraphs of information, obviously, because that's what a leaflet has. But you can also put in some other things. So you might decide that actually you don't want to put um, a map or directions in there. You might decide that you um, don't want reviews. You might decide that you want something else that you saw in one of the example leaflets that you think is better. So now is your time to play about with the structure and have a go. But like I said, if you want more support, then I would do it in exactly the same structure, the exact same way as we've done our Tesco one together. OK, so refer back to that. So there's a couple of things that I want you to think about. Um, so. Like in our Tesco leaflet, we had uh, the different things you can find at Tesco. So if we're providing Camp Green Lake as a persuasive place to be, um, thinking about it as an actual summer camp, you need to think of a variety of different things. So not just activities you can do there, but lots of different things. So the first thing you want to think about is your location. So you want somewhere to have a paragraph about the location. So what I want you to think about and mind map, come up with some ideas is in what way could you positively describe the scenery, so the location where it is, of Camp Green Lake? Now, we know it's a desert. We know that there used to be a lake there. But think about how you can make that seem exciting and positive. So I would pause the video now and have a go at mind mapping some different words, phrases or sentences that you can use to describe the location positively. OK, so we've thought about location. You also then want to think about activities. Now, you can't say that at Camp Green Lake there is um, a roller coaster or something exciting to do. But how can you spin the fact that um, they're digging holes as a positive thing? So instead of saying at Camp Green Lake you dig holes, how can you say that that's what you'll be doing without saying that you're digging holes? So you could think about it positively as exercise. So you're exercising, you're building up muscle strength. Uh, you get to um, chat or play with your friends. 
Um, you can go out and sunbathe in the sun because it's hot. It's the desert. Uh, so think about things that you could do at the camp that are realistic. So not completely made up, but you've sort of made it seem better. So instead of saying at the camp, you dig holes, what can you say? Um, so what skills would you be learning if you were digging holes and things like that? Um, so this is probably a bit of a trickier bit uh, to think about, but you need to make it seem amazing. Now, you're only going to write one paragraph on your activities or maybe two. So don't worry too much, but you could go with the sunbathing, relaxing in the sun, um, making sand castles. I mean, I'm not sure you can actually possibly do that in a desert, but there's lots of sand there. Um, so have a think about things like that. So simple things that would fit in. So pause the video and have a mind map about different activities that you could do there. Okay, so the next thing that you want to include, like you do in all summer camp um, leaflets or places like that, holiday camps, is the accommodation. Okay, and obviously you get to stay there, you get to sleep there. There's um, showers, um, they sleep in different tents, so it might be like camping. Um, so how could you make the tents where, or their, um, their camps where they stay, how can you make that seem appealing? So remember, again, you can't say that there's a five star hotel there with luxury beds and a hot tub because there's not. But you need to make what's, what is there seem really positive and exciting. So pause the video now and have a go at um, coming up with some ideas, some words and phrases for accommodation. OK, and then the final thing then is the food. Now, obviously, they get given food. They get fed at Camp Green Lake. Um, and this is one where you can really go all out. So what f is the food like at Camp Green Lake? Because they do get food. Um, so what I would do is have a think about the foods uh, maybe that you get where you're camping. So you can say that they roast marshmallows on a fire. Loads of different things. Um, so pause the video and this is probably the easiest one to mind map and come up with some different ideas. Okay, now what you're going to do is those... Um, mind maps and ideas are all for um, when you come to write your mini paragraphs um, and we're going to actually do that on Monday but this is so that you've got ideas ready to go because there's not going to be a virtual lesson on Monday um, so on Monday you're just going to have a little bit of information that says to um, continue and finish your Camp Green Lake leaflet, leaflet uh, because it's independent but when you come to do that on Monday you'll have all your ideas and your um, plans from what we've just discussed. So what we're going to do today is you are going to do all the um, sort of fiddly bits that we did first of all in our Tesco leaflet. Now I've given them little ticks, but again, like I said, you can choose to either include some of these things or not include some of these things. You might choose to include all of these things and some extras that you found um, were helpful in the example leaflets. Um, it's completely up to you because it's independent. If you're following the structure for some more support, then do the exact same steps and the exact same boxes we used for our Tesco leaflet, okay? But today, the point is you're going to get those fiddly bits out the way. You're going to get the title and any extra bits that you want in your leaflet, and you're going to do those first. You need to make sure that you leave a space for um, your paragraphs, your mini paragraphs that you did um, last of all in the Tesco leaflet as well. Um, I would recommend that you have at least four and those are the four that we um, did some planning on. So the scenery, the location where it is, uh, the accommodation that you get, the food and the activities. Now you might think of some other things that you could include, which is fine. You might want to do um, a couple of paragraphs on the activities, which is again fine as well. But like our Tesco one, you sort of want to aim for a minimum of four paragraphs. So when you're starting out your leaflet today, make sure that you leave enough space for those. If you think it's gonna fill a double page, um, go for a double page spread. If you think it's going to, um, you don't have an, as much information, then you can fill a single um, page. Maybe have a look at how well you did with filling the page in the Tesco leaflet. If you found you had a lot of um, white space, maybe because your handwriting's smaller, then maybe go for a single A4 page because um, you don't want to get all the, um, the white space around it. Now, um, linked down below is a map 
um, a Camp Green Lake map that you can use to print off if you would like to and you have a printer um, to stick onto your um, Camp Green Lake leaflet, okay? So as I said, because it's independent, that is all I'm going to say, uh, but you're following the exact same steps as we followed all week. So you're doing the um, fiddly bits today, the sort of decorative bits, and then on Monday, you're going to come back and you're going to um, uh, write those paragraph sections, the ones that we just came up with. So let us know how you get on. Give it a good go. If you're really stuck, then think back to or revisit the Tesco leaflet um, instructions and follow that exact same structure, but with the Camp Green Lake um, session. So there won't be a session on Monday, a live one. It will just say to continue on and finish off your leaflet. So just get the bits done that you can today. Or if you'd rather wait and do the whole thing on Monday, then that is fine if you think the mind mapping is enough for today. But by Monday, you need to have had the completed thing um, sorted. So we look forward to seeing your leaflets. Remember to send us some pictures because it's going to be great fun to see how you've managed to sell Camp Green Lake to us. So send us some pictures of your finished um, leaflet. Have lots of fun, add lots of colour to it and make it look really amazing.